Hi, I'm Roseanne Ritter with RR Designs, and today I'm going to show you this cute little scrappy whimsical block, and I'll show you how to make it. Um, very simple. The pattern looks like this. Hope you can see it. The numbers may be a little backwards, but that's my design. Um, a friend of mine gave me some scrap material. It was all clumped up in a bag. And one day I just ironed it all out and I have this, these beautiful fabrics, all these strips. And I thought I would put together a whimsical block. I made this whimsical block, oh, probably six, seven, eight years ago and used it as a seat top for a rocking chair, a whimsical rocking chair. And it turned out really good. And um, I thought I'd make this block for you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Here, so I have, um, what I have available today is my cutting mat. And with this pattern, there is no set cutting instructions. Everything is just done as you go. Nothing has to be really measured or corners or anything, but I'll, I'll show you everything as we go. There's my pattern, just for the way that, that I'm putting it together. Got a little iron mat right here. Got my little featherweight right here. If, if, it, if my surrounding areas look any different, I'm at Kentucky Lake in Kentucky and we're camping and uh, my husband works from the motorhome. So I'm here in the, the lodge at this resort. It has a campground, houses, um, and then this lodge, it's like almost like a hotel. And there's really nobody here today, just one couple. And uh, so I'm sewing in the lodge and they brought me a table to use. So I thought I'd put together this, this block. So we're gonna start with just a square. It doesn't have to be any particular size, whatever you like. And we are going to go to block number two. So I'm going to go to my materials. Just find something that I like. I like this. <laughs> so it doesn't match. But I just put two squares together. It goes over a little bit. So a quarter of an inch seam to seam. Then I'm going to press. It's always really good to press your seam. Makes for a good, good flat surface. And then I have a ruler, and I'm just gonna cut it. You don't even have to measure this next block. I'm just gonna cut some of this off. Go down a little bit. I'm just gonna actually cut this this off. Didn't even measure it. Put my scraps aside. Cut this off too. Then I'm gonna cut that off. There, I've got block number two. I'm gonna arrange this a little bit better. Block number two. Then block number three is gonna go right across here. So I just pick another fabric that I like. And uh, one of my smaller ones. Yeah. I pick something that's really colorful. Pick this one. Gotta go. And I'm just gonna measure the uh, width of that, width of that seam, and cut. So you can really use all kinds of scraps that you have. And then sew a quarter of an inch.
press. Press to either side. I'm just gonna press, press out there. And even if this is like, I, that may be a little bit too big, and I'm just gonna make that a little bit shorter, but I can do that in my next one. Pick another fabric. And also, your seams don't have to be straight. That's one nice thing about a whimsical. Everything is uneven and wonky. So, so a quarter of an inch. There's number three. Now go to number four. And let's say I didn't want to make my blocks this big. I wanted to go a little shorter. I'll show you another whimsical way. And again, I'm just choosing my fabrics as I go. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. I'm either going to make my blocks not even straight going to be a little bit crooked. But I want to keep my seams very straight because that will affect the way that I sew it across. So I even made it at an angle. So nothing is straight, nothing is perfect. It's all uneven. part right here I'm going to cut off. I can add that back to my scrap pile. Piece of pile. Iron. Iron out. There. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm on block number five. Now I'm going to go over to block number six over here on this side. Picking another you know, just random piece of fabric. I go with this blue, like this blue. These are all batiks, so the front is the same as the back. Holding that up. I may even just twist it a little bit downward, just for some character. But I'm also going to cut off my extra, making my seam straight across and cut off the, the side over here too. There, just made the seam at an angle and uh, just making sure that is straight and then a quarter of an inch seam. So this whimsical pattern, you really don't have to cut anything straight, anything perfect. Look at, my blocks are actually, look like kind of like trapezoids. <laughs> very, very unusual, very different, very fun. Okay, now that was block number six. We're gonna go to block number seven over here. And again, I just pick out any fabric. out a fabric like this again um, it's not even 
but I'm just gonna square that up with my ruler. Just making sure my you can see me. It's my next block. That was, and then iron it, iron it out. That's a little big, so I'm just going to cut some of that off. Just want to, you don't even need, I have to measure this like cut. <laughs> and that's a scrap. There, there's my next block. See, nothing is even, which is fun. Okay, there's my two. Eight is across here. So I'm gonna find something colorful. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got a green. I like this green. I'll put this green. This is turning out to be a polka dot block. So measure that. And again, that. Cut off this end. that back in my scrap pile. And I'm gonna measure this, just to make sure I have an even edge so that I can sew a quarter of an inch. Along. I think that's the only thing that's not wonky is my, is my stitch, stitch seam. featherweight. I don't have a name for her, <laughs> but she sews when I want her to sew. <laughs> she. Okay, and iron. And again, you don't even have to, you know, do the uh, blocks any particular way, whatever way that you want to do it. My next block will go right here across. What else do I got that's pretty? Oh, here's a good one. I got some purple, purple. Measure that along. Yeah, that's good there. See, I even make it even at an angle, but I'm gonna cut off the angle part just so that I have a good straight edge of both of the fabrics and I get a good quarter of an inch seam. And my block is starting to take off. And you can make this block any size that you want. Uh, my two blocks that I made here uh, are 12 inches by 12 inches, uh, but you can make them you know, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 12 and a half. You could even like keep going and make your whole quilt a wonky block. Okay, my next one will be right here. Let's see what else do I got that's colorful. Ooh, here's a good color. Measuring it across here. You don't have to measure it, you don't know, right up to the end, but just lay it down. Cut off your extra. And again, my friend Diane gave me all these materials. She's in my quilt guild. 
back home in Florida, and I really appreciated um, her scrap pile. <laughs> I love scrappy things. There, now sew a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then open it up. You can iron the seam down. And then open it up, iron it. Iron it. And then the next one, see I have an uneven edge, edge there, but that doesn't matter. Pick another fun fabric. Let's see what I got. I got something purple, purple. See, I'll measure, I'll just put this out. Like I could see, I could turn it like that even, just to be wonky and whimsical. Again, cut off the edge. Cut off my edge. Put that back in my stash. And then even it off for a good stitch seam. And so a quarter of an inch. Press it out. And what I'm going for is 12 inches. And so far I have 10 inches by almost 11 or 12. Okay. So again, pick the next one over here. Next color. Let me get a little lighter. Diane gave me like all kinds of batiks. Just a bunch of them. Um, bunch of fun colors. And I love batiks. They're my favorite. Okay. Okay. There. Cut off the end. My scrap. Put that back in my pile. And then even up my seam so I have a good color in it. And sew up my quarter of an inch. So I just really took my scrap pieces, right from my scrap pieces, right to my block. And, uh, okay, the next to be over here, and I think I just have one more to go. One more to go, let's see what I can do. Oh, there's a pretty blue. And I'm gonna put a little wonky to it. I'm gonna put a little, little downward. Maybe I'll go this way. Just to give it a little more whimsical. I can cut off my end. Back to my scrap pile. 
See, I'm gonna make my edge just the, on a little bit of an angle, just to give it a little more whimsical character to it. There we go, like that. Cut off the excess so I have a good straight edge. And so. Okay, now there's my block. Now I'm gonna measure this out to uh, 12 by 12. Um, I didn't bring a ruler that's 12 and a half by, tw or 12 by 12, but I'm just gonna use my cutting ruler on my base. Okay, I'll just cut. I'll show it. Okay. I'm gonna measure it out twelve by twelve. Again, um, you can make these however big you want. I just went for 12 by 12. Actually, I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I, sometimes you have unfinished blocks at 12 and a half by 12 and a half, and then that way you'll have a finished block of 12 inches. And I just started sewing 12 inches. <laughs> started cutting at 12 but again you can make this however big you want there we go. okay and there's your wonky 12 and a half inch block very very simple going right from your stash your stash to a wonky a scrappy, whimsical block. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, please like and share it. And if you wanna give me a comment, I'd appreciate that too. But it's a simp uh, simple, easy beginning step that you could do with your scraps. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.